Freddyo.com! Um, I've been acting ever since I was like five years old, but I've known my colleague Falcon and it was strictly unprofessional. I've been acting professionally for like, it should be two years and a bit, and um, I've been auditioning for stuff. This is the first film I auditioned for and I got. You said this is your first film that you auditioned for? Yeah, it's my first film, yeah. Like, what was it like playing a film like this? Because, you know, you got humor, action, yeah. violence, a whole, like, a whole bunch of stuff was going on in this movie, getting to tap all this stuff at the same time. It was, it was fun. We had support from the production company, Big Talk, and obviously Joe, it was Joe's first time, it was the cinematographer's first time. So we kind of just worked together, and it was an ensemble thing. You know, I wasn't there by myself. I didn't feel as if I was taking the weight of the whole movie, per se. But, um, you know, it, it was easier than it should be, really, because I had so much support. What was your favorite part about recording the film? My favorite part? Mm -hmm. I loved the peanut butter and jam paninis. And you know what? I'm the one that invented that in the on set menu, and no, and nobody, nobody kind of got to that. So I was the only one eating that. And you know, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the Red Bulls and the late nights, you know, <laughs> riding around on our BMXs past the hood and just being like, blah, blah, blah. You know, I enjoyed that kind of stuff. <laughs> just fun, fun time. So you knew a real Moses. Was this based on a, your performance on someone at the No, my performance was was based on a lot of work during the audition process, and based on characters in season four of The Wild. Based on Jamie Hector, who plays Marlo, mm -hmm. Tristan Wilds, who plays Michael. Those two characters are the ones that I like. Oh, yeah, they're like Moses. But obviously, with Moses having a British accent. Why the Yankee hat? Why the Yankee hat? Yeah. Because I watched the match where the guy, I, I don't know what his name is, where the guy had his, I think it was his last ever bat or whatever, and then someone caught it, and I thought it was epic, so I bought the hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan, and I'm allowed to say that because I'm British. <laughs> Girl crushes here in the United States? Any girl crushes? Qu girl crushes. crushes. Any girl crushes? <laughs> well, I saw Megan Good the other day. <laughs> she was here recently. On the Sony lot. Saw Megan Good on the Sony lot. I didn't say hello. I saw her from a distance. I just done the British thing of being like, you know what? I'm British. Let's just keep it casual. <laughs> Let's keep it cupcakes. Let's just walk away. Keep it cupcakes. But, but, um, <laughs> But what's his name? Yeah, yeah. She, she, she must. She's a secret crush. Let's tell her I said I love her. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me ask you. I noticed in the film that there was a lot of American hip hop influence in yeah. the characters. Yeah. Did you find that to be an influence? I know that a lot of things that you guys do and say like comes directly from the, um, from the music. Mm -hmm. Like the actual lyrics mm -hmm. and stuff like that, uh, y'all depicted it, you know, heavily in the film. Yeah. How how close to reality is is that depiction of how influenced the youth are, you know, with the verbiage and the behaviors and the characters, the way they dress and all that by hip hop in America? I think I think that everybody, every state and every hood has their own certain type of swag, and obviously in London we've been influenced, we've we've, been, we've lived throughout the Biggie and and the two pack stages, and we've got that kind of. You know, we've watched your films and, and you know I don't know how it originated but that's where I was born into and you know that's our swag we have a another side we have a British side side you may get a different side in East London than you get in South East London and that is all just kind of, kind of incorporated by probably listening to music and experiences around our place around our place. some some of the experiences are from you know up and coming rappers and the way they go on it's just a British thing do you know what I mean and obviously yeah growing up on American stuff growing up on American movies you watch that and you know, certain people you know copy the words like I don't know if you guys know what allow it means and stuff, but we got we got our own thing going on at the same time. So I think it's a fusion of both. You know what I mean? Yeah. What, what does uh, allow it? Allow it means don't do it. Allow it, allow it is the com complete opposite. In simple terms, it will mean allow yourself not to do that. Please. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> simple terms. How do you feel? How do you feel about the current state of London and what's going on now? I think it's very upsetting. It's actually affected the area where I live. It's in, in Peckham, and um, I think it's upsetting. But I think it's good. I think you know, say thank you to the young, to the young people back in London that are getting their brooms, that are going into their houses and cleaning up their communities. The way young people are being portrayed in those tabloids is as if it's complete negative. And I know people that are going out there and are making a difference and are sharing positivity. So I have to say thank you to you, Scott. And if I could be in London, I would. Do you have a Twitter or a Facebook? At John Boyega. That's my Twitter. Hi, I'm John Boyega, and shout out to Freddyo.com. Freddyo.com! Freddyo.com!